Taiwanese people watching this, I apologize. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to remember these. Okay. Ready? I'm traumatized. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's finally time for Ingo Susu and Ingo Nana to her tour, collaborate. Yale, I want to ask you, how are you cooking skills? Uh, I don't really have cooking skills. I didn't really cook since I left England. And even then I didn't cook a lot because my mum was such a good cook, she'd cook everything for us. The dish that we're going to cook today, I'm not too sure what it is, but probably my mum has never taught me how to cook it. Today, I'm going to ask you to cook Oazen. Oazen! Oh, I love it! Today, Alan will be challenging Oazen. Taiwanese oyster pancake. One of my favorites. A traditional night market dish, which is an omelette slash potato starch pancake with small oysters, vegetables served in a sweet chili sauce. So with no Taiwanese food cooking experience, let's see how Alan does. Coming up. So let's see how it goes. I'm interested to see. We've got five minutes. Okay, so in that five minutes, you could Google, you can ask a friend, whatever you want to do, how to do it. Um, but after that five minutes, no phones, nothing, it's all on you. Oh, really? I've got a recipe here. Um, all I'm going to do is just transfer the recipe onto paper. Is there ketchup? No Heinz. Yeah. <laughs> Meet John. Meet John. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so, nice. Okay. Uh, of corn starch? Corn. Yeah. That's the sauce. Sweet potato starch. The oysters. Yeah. And they do say oh yeah, uh, celery leaves. I haven't just got the ingredients. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to remember these, I'm not going to be able to write down these instructions. I'm only going to get the sauce done. And then, okay, for the omelette. Oh, Holy guacamole! I don't, want to, I don't want to waste any, I don't want to waste the food. How confident are you feeling about uh, I'm the most confident person in the world, but at the moment my confidence levels are... Yeah, yeah. So you, I'm not going to time you on this bit, you take your time. Just at the end of it, we've got a, we've got some people, to, Taiwanese people to try your omelette. Oh, okay, I'll okay. tell you how it is. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Okay, so Alan, what's your first plan? What are you going to do first? Make the sauce. Quarter cup of ketchup. I'll just go cup with a feeling. A quarter cup of rice wine. So what would you say to your feet? Cooking rice or rice? Is that a tablespoon? A tablespoon of sugar. You've given me such a, such a challenge. So have you ever cooked any Taiwanese food before? Never. Never. Have you used people watching this? I apologize. Oh, I can't even know what this is. Red miso paste. So what's your favorite Taiwanese food, Alan? If you have to choose one. Beef noodles. Beef noodles. Every day. Oh, I love that. The sauce just goes in, I think. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Pig's blood. It's burning already. Uh, smells great. So if you're gonna woo a girl in Taiwan, yeah. what would you cook her? Uh, what would I cook a girl in Taiwan? I'd take her to the pub. This looks like the sauce that you get on the night one. It smells like it as well. There's something else. Some cornstarch, cold water. So this is gonna thicken the sauce up. I, I, I think so. Right, right, yeah. How do you think you're doing so far? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing the place down. Yeah. One teaspoon. Teaspoon. That's a, a teaspoon. Uh, what's the like one dish that like you would be the first thing you take your family to in Taiwan? Uh, they can, they can visit you. Zhe Tao. Oh, Zhe Oh my god, yeah. I remember my mum and dad uh, when, first, when they came here when William was born. They loved the Zhe Tao restaurant. It's too good. It's not, it's not thick enough. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna put more water in it. It's not thick enough. We're gonna get started on some eggs. I've done the I've done the occasional omelet. Yeah. But okay, this is very different, right? Two pigs. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so now you're in the omelette. What would you cook? What would you typically eat in a typical day in Taiwan? Would you be more Taiwanese food or would you be more like a Western food? Uh, or? Breakfast, uh, dumping. Dumping? Uh, lunch, maybe sandwich or 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven food. And dinner would be something like beef noodles oh. or dumplings or more, more traditional. Probably eat Western food like two, two to three times a week. So how many hours do you think you've eaten since you've been in Taiwan? Does this look like a guy that's dodged it, dodged it, oh, that's it. <laughs> and I have to have the, I have to have the, uh, the leaves and the scallions. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, what the hell is that? So what's going on now? Right, we've got the veggies. Okay. Done. He said that they should be torn. Okay, yeah. Not, looks good, looks good. Not chopped. We're gonna start cooking the omelette. Okay, okay. So what's in here? You've got like the potato starch. Potato starch. Yep. Uh, cold water, yep. oil. Yep. And that goes in after we've done the eggs. They didn't separate them, they said put. Fudge. Fudge fingers. <laughs> it's quite <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's the bag. I don't know what to do, I don't know what. Oh, sugar buzzies. And you put, you're putting the oysters in now? That's okay, good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it looks like a very uh, yeah, watery. That's solid, that looks thick enough. We have a Taiwanese, do you want to ask the Taiwanese girl what she thinks so far? What do you think so far? I'm traumatised. <laughs> oh my god, I've really screwed the pooch on this one. Can the oysters, the oysters have to be cooked? Yeah. Okay. It's got no, like, it's, it's not stuck together. It's more like a scrambled eggs than oysters. <laughs> Oh my god! There we go. So here's the, the soles coming up. Well, ah. well, yeah, yeah. You see, you put the soles on. I tell you what. It's actually not that bad. It looks not bad, right? Yeah. Alan, what would you give yourself out of 10 for your Oladzen? 15. I think. <laughs> I would say the colours are all right, but I would say it's very watery. Why do you think that is? I think because one is the sauce. When you put like the Thai Bai Fit, the corn flour, yeah. if you heat it up, it'll get really thick. Oh, the hotter okay. it is, the thicker it is. So if you left it on the heat for longer, it would be really thick, stodgy sauce. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then also with the oysters, you put the water in with it instead of just putting the oysters in. Okay. How much would you sell this for at a night market? Uh, if I was the one selling it? Yeah. Well, what I'd do is I'd sell it with a selfie so they can get a photo with me. <laughs> uh, I think like $60, $70. Seven, twenty dollars I'd is say. That, is that yeah. the going rate for a what, OOJ? What would you guys pay for this at home? If you saw this on a night market, how much would you pay for that? You can write it low. How does it taste compared to the OOJ in the night market? It's just completely different. <laughs> um, it's not got the the, the gooeyness, the gooey, um, sticky um, uh, pancake feeling. <laughs> Neo Jim Bama. Scramble watery eggs with tomato sauce. <laughs> Kind of like you put it together, you did the steps within like you had five minutes to prepare. Yep. You've done, you worked this out within less than half an hour. Okay. So I think it's good. Yeah, the oysters are cooked nice. Yeah, it's really nice. They're uh, perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. So well done on that then. So the next test is we're going to ask how many people to try it. Yeah, the presentation, the color looks very authentic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. we'll see about the flavor. But it looks watery. Really watery. <laughs> uh, because Taiwan is an island country surrounded by water, I felt it's more traditional and more like an ode to the to the sea yeah. of Taiwan. <laughs> 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 Initial thoughts, what do you think? The oyster's really good. I caught them myself. Yeah. I, I, I caught them this morning at 4 a.m. But I gotta say that sauce is, is really good. It's just like that, uh, the things that you can get from the market. Oh, it's really? Good. It's just a, just a little bit watery. Water, water. Yeah. The flavor is pretty good. This, the sauce is quite similar to yeah. the night market. Ah. Well, well, how do you feel uh, hearing these comments? Uh, I I think this is pretty much what I would have expected. I would not have expected to make a perfect OAGEN straight out the gate my first time. But to hear some, some positive feedback makes me really feel proud. Would you buy this at the night market? If this is the only... <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for it. What? You pay for it. pay for it? How much would you pay? I said 50. 50? Oh, there we go. <laughs> So, thank you so much, Alan, for this uh, Oh, Adzen. No, thank you for the opportunity and giving me a little bit of pressure to do something <laughs> a little bit out of my comfort zone. Would you do it again? Do you think you're going to start being a cook now in Taiwan, do you think? Uh, maybe every now and then. Maybe if I go to Prozzi. Prozzi's got a, a nice kitchen in his house. So great to provide food for your friends and family and people uh, close to you and nourish your, right. your friends. So it gives me a special feeling that I don't really have that often. So thanks very much. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you got
got that feeling as well. I think yeah. it's important to have that, like, like a warm home feeling, you know what I mean? I totally get what you mean. Job. So guys, I want you to write below, what would you give him out of 10 for his oh, I've done. Yeah. Um, and actually, it does taste very good. Like, have you seen before? Even Taiwanese people said it was good, so the, well the, the Taiwanese seal of approval. Yes. Thank you for watching today's video, and you can check out Life in Taiwan yeah. in Gorsu Su. I just share my life in Taiwan with uh, different foods, cultures, differences in culture between England and Taiwan and uh, yeah just if you're interested in a life in Taiwan through a foreigner's eyes then come check me out remember to like and subscribe and click that little bell ding, ding. so every time I have a new video you can see it immediately yeah. and if you haven't already you can check out my restaurants one's in Dantre, one's in Xingyi we're also in department stores and on www.britshake.com so if you want to try some British food best British food in Taiwan oh you're a darling thank you so much everyone and we'll see you next time bye bye, thank you, bye, -bye. Not bad. Yeah. That's pretty good. Like watching you cook. Look, it looked like a train wreck. It did look a bit like, <laughs> like a train wreck. I'm impressed. I was watching you cook this and I was like, God damn it, if I have a more difficult one, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to pull this off. I, I, I know what you're cooking and it's gonna be fun. I want the trash. I have no idea what this is.